Hello friends. Welcome back to All on Law. This is a medical video lecture microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is Legionella Nemophilia. Legionella Nemophilia. So, before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. Currently, we have more than 600 medical video lectures in our channel and this is really very these videos are really very important for your USMLE examination from step 1 to step 3 and even for your other medical board examinations like Canadian, Australian, UK or Arab board examinations okay so try to concentrate on these videos I'm sure you will go out with some information okay so let's talk about the Legionella the basic things about the Legionella Nemophilia. The legi for a legi uh, sorry, Legionella. It's a gram positive or gram negative. It's a weakly gram negative. Okay, it's a rods or a cone. Yeah, sorry, rods or a, what do you call a bacilli. It's a rod, right? Okay, two important points. And the important about this bacteria that you should remember as a water organism. Water organism. In your assembly, remember. In USMLE, try to look about uh, if a patient develops a pneumonia, and if there is any condition like what uh, if there is anything mentioned about the air conditioning AC, okay. So then think of Legionella pneumophilia, okay. Air conditioning AC, air conditioning, okay. If there is any associated like that, if they give the information in USMLE, okay. And there are the pleophormic rods requiring cysteine and the iron. Cysteine and iron. Okay. Right? So they are weakly gram negative. They are water organisms. They are rods. They require what you call cysteine and the iron. Okay. So these are the important points about the Legionella. So Legionella pneumophilia. Uh, what do you call their gram negative as we know okay they are fastidious requiring increased iron and cysteine right that's why we call it what you call a CYE charcoal yeast extract okay and the other point about this is they are facultative intracellular facultative intracellular okay faculty to intracellular so in USML examination try to look for if there is any history of what you call air conditioning involving the air conditioning okay AC or if there is any uh, elderly smoker heavy drinker or immunocompromised okay try to look for this and it causes a typical pneumonia so let's move on to the what you call uh, transmission how it is transmitted it's uh, transmitted through aerosols Okay, it transmitted through aerosols from contaminated AC air conditioning. Okay, and but remember the important point about this Legionella pneumophilia, it doesn't have a human to human transmission, no H to H transmission. Okay, no H to H that is a human to human transmission. Okay, what are the reservoirs? Reservoirs, as I said, it's a water organism, so it lives in the river, stream, okay, or uh, water cooling tanks of air condition, right? What are the predisposing factors? Predisposing factors means in which patients you develop this kind of pneumonia. Is uh, one immune compromised patient like a renal transplant patients, chemotherapy patients, okay, and uh, smokers over 55 years with uh, heavy what you call alcohol drinkers, okay. So these are the important uh, predisposing factors that try to look for these predisposing factors in USMLE examination. Okay, now let's talk about the pathogenesis. What's the pathogenesis? Okay, they are faculty to intracellular pathogens. This uh, produces endotoxin also. 
okay remember about the toxin that's it okay and the disease that it can cause is a typical pneumonia that's a legionnaire's disease legionnaire okay legionnaire's disease right so it causes mental confusion remember about the mental confusion in uh, atypical pneumonia is really very important okay try to look for diarrhea because you sometimes get confused whether it's a pneumonia or is it, whether it's a meningitis okay so if they give the history of atypical pneumonia like uh, features of a typical pneumonia plus um, what you call a mental confusion diarrhea okay right um okay guys uh, that's it about the legionella in microbiology for year seven step one i hope uh, this video is uh, helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video and i'm sure you will thumb up and i'm sure you'll subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe thank you so much take care